festival really just grew out of an idea and in conversation with um, you know various people that I've worked with over my career and thinking about ways to leave a legacy or to do something you know bigger than just being a player. Thank you. I mean I've always been about growing the game and, and new opportunities for young players and and they put together a fabulous lineup for these three or four days that these players are here so of course I'd want to be a part of it and, and be here. It's just a celebration of women's hockey and for me, you know, as a coach and as a former player, it's really nice to give back to the game at any opportunity and they've just created such a great event on so many levels on and off the ice that I really want to be a part of it. The game is just not only on the ice, you know, it's, it's about, um, you know, healthy living, uh, nutrition, that sort of thing. So we're going to start off, we're going to do a little yourself through. There's sessions happening off the ice that are going to teach these young girls what it means to be a, a high performance hockey player. It's not just a matter of going to the rink and picking up a stick. They get a chance to learn from the best hockey players in the world what exactly they did to get to that point. They also get a chance to experience uh, nutrition seminars, uh, stretching, training, uh, learning about uh, scholarship opportunities, coaching seminars, parents in hockey. There's all sorts of avenues that they can really take and learn from. I've never seen a girls tournament like this. I mean, uh, girls tournaments, the ones we went to, they were like the boys. You came, you played games, and you left, depending on how you did. Now there's so much more to it. It's great. It just adds a whole new dimension to the whole thing. When you think about, you know, um, uh, being able to work with, with other people, work in, uh, in, in other teams, and being able to listen to um, some of the great minds in hockey, and when you're able to gain those skills, they're just not hockey skills, they're life skills. Well, I think it's really important for girls to see that there's other girls like them who are really passionate and committed to the game and are willing to do the things on and off the ice that it takes to get there. And I don't think it matters whether you're you know, nine years old and brand new to the game or 15 and have played at a competitive level for a long time. There's some that kind of energy that comes from being at an event like this. My favorite sport is hockey. And I'm really looking forward to playing against other teams and having fun with it. When I first started hockey, she is on my team, and she wanted me to come out and play hockey. So I decided to try it, and I loved it so much because it was really fun. I got to hang out with a lot of new people, and I learned a lot. This event is is huge. I think it's another step forward for the women's game. And you know, as it was mentioned tonight, the opportunity to maybe bring more international teams over and start growing this game a little bit more globally uh, is really a, a cool incentive and a cool program that they've got going on. I think Canada is incredibly passionate about the game of hockey, but they're not alone. There's a lot of countries out there who love the sport. And we just need to really start encouraging them to look at the women's side of the sport. There's definitely a disparity between the men's and the women's side in a lot of these nations. And from the IHF standpoint, we're hoping to be able to start providing opportunities so that it makes it a little easier for them to go to the federations and ask for a little bit more money to be able to go to different tournaments. And what Haley's done with this tournament is brought a team from the Czech Republic in to play against a lot of teams from Canada and the US. This is an opportunity for the Czech team to come in and see what that's really like. You know, it's like always a dream of someone if you're playing in Europe to try to play as hockey in Canada. So that's just like, you know, that your dream is coming true. <laughs> it's good it's experience for my, for my team and my girls. It's just amazing to see the interest and the growth in the women's game on the corporate side of things and we want to do the best we can to service our sponsors and we think that with all the parents and all the kids that there's um, a lot of opportunities to get some good um, branding out of your product. All the proceeds from the event this weekend are going to support two charities which I'm, uh, very, are very endearing to me. Uh, the first is Kids Sport which uh, looks to provide equipment and opportunities for kids here in Canada that don't other, otherwise wouldn't have any in all different sports. So we're happy to support Kids Sport and the second is uh, Right to Play. Uh, right to Play is an organization that works around the world to uh, help children develop life qualities through sport and play. 
And really the goal is that this is not a tournament, it's so much more than a tournament. It's a, it's a festival, it's a, it's a meeting place, a professional development place, if you will, for young girls. And that's what we wanted it to be, a holistic approach to the game, not just another hockey tournament. It's not a surprise that Haley's, uh, um, you know, put this on and, and, and is giving back to the young people of our country and of the world.